Julia Olidia came from Kwara State to Joss about a month ago with her mother and brother to visit her aunt who reside at Tudumwada. Her initial disappearance happened when she was playing outdoors with her brother and cousins who were on midterm break when she vanished into the thin air. While the community was yet to recover from the shock of her first disappearance, she again disappeared after a week and a few days. But this time, she wasn't found alive. Lydia's mother, Hannah, said she is still in shock over the incident, adding that before her daughter's disappearance the second time, they shared happy moments together. It happened on Thursday. I got back from work around after five. So when I got inside, I met my daughter here with her siblings they were playing. When she saw me, she was so excited and she hugged me. I carried her and she was checking all over my body and said, Mommy, are you okay? And I said, yes. She said, do you miss me? I said, yes. Then I dropped her. We went to our own room. What happened, honestly, we felt bad. A young lady like this, we miss her. Just three years. Baby girl. When she fell down inside the well, we all confused in this compound. All of us contemplate, is it somebody that threw her inside? Or she's just walking, she fell down, we don't know. This is the second time. The first one is almost one week, then the uh, what uh, Conan for the second time. The other one is outside the compound. That is well, the neighboring house there. And the second one that she's late now, the small girl of three years, inside the compound, this one that happened, that she's late now, is inside the compound there. So my uh, suggestion or advice, this is not an ordinary something. Uh, my advice within people that they reside inside the compound is such they safe inside the compound. Meanwhile, most people in the community believe there is something odd about the incident, pointing out that there is every need for proper investigation to unravel the mystery.